We good? Right, Coach Berlin, fire questions are ready. Well, Coach, it's good to have Perry on back. Uh, you said you might have played him a little bit too much uh, on Saturday. He's in there for 24 minutes. Do you anticipate him starting this week at all? Um, you know, we're going to see how the week goes. Uh, we've just had one practice this week so far, well, so we'll see how he does. Um, we practiced yesterday. He did a good. He was he was fine. Uh, he came through the game good. Uh, so you know, if he continues to progress, you know, he was our starter when he got hurt, and you can't have a control over that. So yeah, we might see him in the starting lineup. You know, again, we'll see. Uh, it, it, it doesn't look like Egbert's going to make it back. Uh, so, and you know, Ark's been had been playing really well. So, um, you know, there's there's a possibility of that too. Make it back this season, you mean? No, no, make it back this week. Oh, okay. Uh, you, do, you do expect him to play again this season? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's just a it's just a, a, a badly sprained ankle. Uh, there's no fractures. There's no breaks. Uh, it's just you know part of basketball injuries. I mean, he's a nasty ankle right now, and but he's making a lot of progress. Is, is maybe something like that with, with Ark and Deshaun maybe need to get to get going and be a little bit more consistent? Well, I don't know. Uh, you know, you you know, Ark's had to battle through injuries uh, all year long, and so um, you know, I, I don't know if that's something that makes him get going, but um, you know, that's probably a question for them. But I'm glad that, you know, Nashawn stepped up and played well. I, I thought he played well. And I thought Nashawn's been playing pretty good the last two, three weeks. Can, can a strong uh, road trip maybe propel you to, to a, a strong finish? Overall? Well, well sure help us. Team? Yeah, you know, because, um, um, you know, it's our last road trip of the year. And, and every game's important when you're, when you're playing in February and March. And, and so, you know, that's how we're going to approach it. We're going to approach it one game at a time. But we're going to approach it like, you know, hey, we, we, we need to play our best basketball because that'll prepare us, um, you know, the best we can be prepared as we head into March, which is March is the most important time of the season. Yeah, I mentioned uh, after Saturday's game, surrendered a double double to, to Bernstein, but, you know, still still getting a win. Um, Cameron Forte, the guy, put up a big double double. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> can, you, can you maybe afford to give up another big night but still get a win there? Well, you know, I don't, I, I don't know. On paper, it doesn't look that way. Uh, we got to do a good job on Forte. He's, he's a, he's a load. He's a good player. He's, he's a really good scorer in his basketball. You know, he shoots a great percentage. He's a very good rebounder. Uh, we, we've got to do a good job on him. Um, um, you know, I, I never want to say never. We can't, we can't do that. Uh, but, but he's obviously got to be a focus of ours. How, how, how does having Kai out affect uh, how you defend Forte? Well, you know, it, it, it always affects your defense when you lose your biggest guy. Um, but, um, you know, what, what we've been doing all year long is it's, it's, we got plenty of good players. And, and you know, what, what I've told the guys all along, it's, it's, it's no matter who we got, no matter where we're playing, no matter what time we play, or if we're playing at the parking lot at Moscow High School, uh, we're, we're going to go in and approach the game the same way. So we're not going to worry about the things we don't have. What we are going to worry about is the things we have, and we're going to prepare, prepare our butts off and play as hard as we possibly can. You mentioned Jake and Pat after um, Saturday's game. You mentioned Jake had a big night, barely plays Saturday. You know, Perry on returns, Pat doesn't play at all. How do you, do you have to say something to those guys to get, kind of keep them menti mentally ready, you know, and they go from kind of big roles to maybe nothing at all. Oh, you know, that, that's that's part of this deal. Uh, yeah, of course you talk to them. I have weekly meetings with, with every player and, and, and talk to them about where, where they're at and what they're doing. And, and you know, uh, their job uh, their job as players is, is to make, make me look bad if I don't play them. And so when they get their opportunities, they need to play well. And, and both those guys have done a good job of that. And, and um you know, it's to answer your question, it's just kind of a feel thing for me. I, I don't go in predetermined, you know, Pat's not going to play, Jake's going to play. I don't do that. I just, it's kind of a feel thing and who's playing well. And, and I, I thought that when Pete came in the game, he had a lot of impact on our team. And, you know, if you look at the plus minus at the end of the game, we're plus 11 when he's out there. Um, so, uh, you know, yeah, I say, to answer, I, I say something to him, but, uh, you know, they know it's part of the deal, and, and what their job is to do is, is to get ready to play, get prepared, and, 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 and take what comes at them. What, what, do you, what does it say about guys like specifically Pat? You know, you mentioned him being just as happy as everyone else, you know, even though he, his role goes from the most minutes he's played all year to, to, to a big to, to nothing. 
Yeah, he, uh, it shows the character that Pat Ingram has. Uh, he's a great kid. Uh, one, one of my favorites, as, as my w wife said, he's one of the nicest kids we've ever had in this program. Uh, good kid, good person. And it just says a lot about his character and his family and how he's raised. And, and I appreciate the way Pat handled that situation. What did you learn about him as a, as a player in the, in the, the time you know, he did get an extended minutes? Well, uh, Pat's really explosive going to the, going to the rim. Uh, he, he, he can, he, he can dang sure play at this level from, from that aspect, and he's a good defender. And what we've got to make, you know, what he's got to do is continue to do that, continue to practice hard every day, and continue to grow and improve. And, and, and he'll do that because he's a good person. So, um, but that's what I learned. He, he, he has the ability to be an elite defender. He has the ability to take the ball to the basket with any, against anybody in this conference.